Charles Prevo Linton with the National Anthems, and we're all set for one of the most one-sided original six rivalries in recent memory. The Rangers have not beaten the Habs in more than four years at the Bell Center. Tonight, the Canadians will try to make it nine in a row. The Rangers will start their rookie backup goaltender, Cam Talbot. He knows nothing of the Bell Center curse. He's won three of his four starts this season and not allowed more than two goals in each of those games. Carey Price has given New York fits at the Bell Center, shutting them out the last four consecutive games. He rested last night against Columbus and was spectacular in Tuesday's 2-1 shootout loss to Tampa Bay. The officials tonight, Chris Lee and Wes McCauley, and on the lines, Von Rohde and Brian Murphy. Hard to believe, eight wins in a row, seven of them in regulation for the Canadians over New York in this building, outscoring New York 25 to 3. Gary Galley, that is domination. Well, yeah, and I think the Canadians would like to see it just keep motoring along, especially Michel Therrien is urging his team to set the tempo. Okay, don't wait and see. He finds they wait around too long, waiting to see what the opponent's going to do. Get out there, set the tempo, engage in the game right away. Be doers, not watchers. David Dayarnay back out to center that third line. He was promoted from the fourth line to the third line last night in Columbus where he got the shootout winning goal and was back in Michel Therrien's good books after being a healthy scratch. Mark Stahl, a shot that misses from the blue line and Kareen's all the way back out as Rene Bork is checked by Carl Haglund on the back check. Bork playing with Pat Ciretti and Dayarnay between them. Two big power forwards with the shifty small center trying to get back on his game. He's only got one assist, Dayarne does, in 18 games. There's a chance for Pacioretty, his shot glancing high off a stick in behind the Rangers net. Stahl lined up, takes a hit from Pacioretty, but headmans the puck to Callahan, who backhands it, bouncing puck into the zone. Markov quickly ahead to P.K. Subban. Steering his way away from Zuccarello to center. He'll get it in deep and head for a change. Brandon Press to return from that shoulder injury. Last night against Columbus goes down in his first hit. Derek Stepan bouncing it off the corner. Price is there to play it and gets it back to center. And a big bounce out of the corner in the Montreal zone. McDonough to center. Zuccarello backhands it in. Price out to wait for it. He finds Josh Georges. Georges up the boards. Georges takes a shot from behind and the Rangers get it back in deep. Now Diaz shadowed by Kreider. Chris Kreider, who was sent to the minors out of training camp, missed the first eight games and has come back on fire. Chance now, Girardi's shot is blocked up high by Prust. Taken away by Placanitz. Outlets to the captain, Brian Gianta. And Gianta has it go off a stick of McDonough into the corner. Both teams changing on the fly. Couple of good solid hits here. First patch ready and then Kreider to get the crowd going here. Great pace, Alexei Yevelin back on the ice for the first time since April 6th when he blew up his knee, colliding with Milan Lucic. Yevelin, who will work on the third pair with Francis Bouillon tonight as Michel Therrien eases him back into full competition. Canadians having trouble coming out of their zone. Emlin now chips it ahead, turning back though. It's the flashy sophomore Russian, Galchenya. Bouillon up the boards, looking for the tip. He gets it. It's Gallagher, who was a game-time decision, but is back after missing the game in Columbus with the flu. Rangers back up ice. Derek Dorsett hammers it around the glass. Dorsett playing with Brassard and Brian Boyle moving to the wing tonight. Usually he's their best face-off guy by a long shot, and he's playing the wing. Got up on the wing. From the blue line, Moore, a shot through traffic, and Price has that hit him right on the crest. Rangers encouraging their defense to put pucks towards the net, create offense from their blue line, and good shot there by Moore, and a good save by Carey Price. One thing that they want Max Petsch ready to do is engage in the game more physically, and here, this is what we got to see more of. He averages less than a hit a game yeah. that he plays in, and he's an awful big forward. And one guy for the Rangers, Kreider, has his issues with John Tortorella, wanted him to be a more physical player. This year, Alan Vigneault says, boy, he's been a big surprise, especially in the physical department. He told me this morning, I've just stopped giving too much, too much respect to my opponents. I'm worthy. I can play with these guys. Big, strong guy, and he hits hard. Ten points in 11 games since coming back from that stint in the minors. 
There's a shot right on. Paddle save by Price in behind the net. Haglin is bottled up by Georges. It squirts away from Callahan. Lacanitz backhanding it too far ahead of Georges. Girardi gets it back to center ice. And Callahan is there and enters the Canadian zone. McDonough bouncing it off the backboards to the near side. Crust waiting for it. Beaten to the puck by Richards who shovels it in front. Here's McDonough again. Fires. And it goes off the stick of Placanitz and out of play. Dangerous range there at the circle. Nice block by Placanitz there. Good defensive play. We talk about the physical play of the guys that have joined the lineup tonight. Yemelin and Prust. Both those guys will bring some grit. But they're looking for more grit from Pacioretty, from Bork. All those guys have got to bring it together so the Canadians are a grittier team. But Brennan Prust certainly brings it. He's oh, had yeah. a great block shot. He's already had physical contact. I mean, you don't have to explain to that guy to play the sandpaper game. He knows it. Prust and Yemlin making the Habs a harder team to play. Here's Pacioretty trying to get around Strawman in front for there. It is. He goes to the net, back in front, battling at the side of the Ranger goal. And Dearnay is taken down by JT Miller. And a great flourish there as the fans salute Dearnay and the Canadians are going on the power play as Stepan goes to the box. Michel Therrien talked about how much he loved David Deharnay's week in practice, his work ethic. He loved his intensity last night. He moved him back on to higher lines and right there, driving to the net, getting into the scoring areas and putting yourself in those tough areas to get goals. David Deharnay right there, good scoring chance, draws a penalty, and the Canadians with a pretty solid power play have a chance to strike first this early in this first period. It was Stahl who was all over. They are an A at the crease, and the Habs go on the power play, the number three ranked power play unit in the National Hockey League right now. Dominic Moore, who's back from that oblique injury, gets it down the ice for the Rangers. Last night, the Canadians were one for four on the power play. Lars Eller tying the game 2 2 with the man advantage. Here's a stretch pass to Rene Bork. Bork angled off by Girardi, goes behind the net. It's moved on to the point. Subban, no shot, back to Pacioretty. Bork behind the net. Dayarne getting power play time now. Here's Hardy, or rather Markov, back to Subban. Pacioretty in front. It bounces over Markov's stick. He gets it back along the boards. And Dayarne is rubbed off the puck by McDonough. Scooped up and sent back down the ice by Moore. Got those two big guys on the backside, Markov and Subban. You got to get so much respect from the penalty killers. Oftentimes it opens up some nice seams down low. Subban stick handling his way through the neutral zone, knocks it off the boards, chasing in on Stahl. Stahl takes him off the puck. Eller rimming it around the boards. Nobody there as Markov comes back into his own zone. In the neutral zone, Galchenyak winding up, drops it back. Subban in front. Gallagher a chance, and he's stoned by Talbot. Eller behind the net. Gallagher keeps it coming. Not hard enough, though, as the speedy. Haglin jumps on the puck, dangles inside the zone, and gets it deep, heads for a change. 20 seconds to go in the Montreal power play as Subban leads the rush up at Frankie Bouillon, turning away from Dorsett at center, trying to get organized at his own line. Bouillon now, chipping it, can't get it past Girardi, who swats it right back to center. Diaz to Prust, fumbling with the puck. Canadians can't get out of the neutral zone. Again, Girardi rejects the entry. Stepan gets it in behind Price. I wonder if he's a lacrosse player. That's two. <laughs> he kicked right out of the air on the Duncans. So the Rangers kill off their first penalty. Back to full strength as Richards bounce it in deep. Kreider on the puck. Diaz fighting with him. It goes off the stick of Press, breaking up the pass to Richards. At center again, Gianta. Chipping and chasing. Justin Falk in the lineup tonight for Michael Delzada, who's the healthy stretch. And Georges gathers the puck in his own zone. Interesting, Michel Terry, when we talked to him about Delzado, he said he ranks him in a 6-7 grouping, and that's, that was shocking to hear. Wasn't it? In the zone now. Long shot. Pad save off the wrister from Gianna. And it comes back to center. Yevelin lines up Kreider, and Kreider fails him to the ice. Here's an example of the power of Chris Kreider and Yemlin physical for the first time tonight. That's deja vu right there. That is the exact same location on the ice he hit Milan Lucic. 
It was in April in the playoffs of last year. He stepped up right in front of the bench, the opposition bench, and he hit him, and that's where the knee injury occurred. And right tonight, he steps right up on Kreider and throws the exact same hit and goes down the exact same way. But this time, he gets right back up and it's gets right to the bench. It's uncanny how exact that was. But Kreider at 6'3", 226 is a beast. Talbot again, great at the side of the net. Falk back in his own zone. Briere on the fourth line, forces a turnover, steps on the puck and loses his edge. And Derek Broussard is there to scoop it up for the Rangers. Moore entering the rush, makes a move at the line and puts his teammates offside. Good pace and some physicality in this original six matchup in Montreal. Welcome back to Hockey Night in Canada. Time now for your Hockey Night bio brought to you by Subway Restaurants and his Rangers starter Cam Talbot. Two years into his NCAA career with the University of Alabama Huntsville, he had just three wins, but his coach Denton Cole told me he showed him some poor third period stats and that motivated him to get into better shape and it has worked. Now he's in an original six matchup on Hockey Night in Canada. Guys? Coaching staff went to Alan, uh, the scouting staff went to Alan Vigneault and they said, listen, this kid is ready. Yeah. He's ready to go right now. And of course, the tough start for Marty Biron led to this opportunity and he's grabbed onto it. Ben Wallace, you've got to give this kid a chance. And of course, when Marty Biron was demoted and eventually retired, the opening came and he was recalled to the Rangers. He lost 2-1 in his first game and hasn't lost in three games since. Good numbers. Uh, the dreaded game in San Jose that just fit them, boy, that 9-2 loss. Here's a chance now for Placanitz. Fires it right on. Bouncing rebound! Just missed by Gianta as he tried to tap it out of the air. Along the near boards. Callahan taken down by Placanitz. And Brad Richards to the right side. Haglund stops up along the boards. Down low along the boards to Richards. Back to Haglund. Haglund loses the puck in close confines and Placanitz manages to get it to center. Placanitz by himself checked by Mark Stahl. And Richards will get it back in the zone. Josh Georges partnered with Francis Bouillon on this ship. And here's a chance on the right side. Bork in front, off the skate of Placanitz, and gathered up by Derek Stepan. Stepan to the left side, charging hard is Kreider. Kreider in, hits the goal post with a wrist shot, a wicked wrist shot. Back to the line. Kreider again, gets it deep. Kreider demolishes Yemlin, then rings one off the goal post here early in Montreal. The other way, it's DeArnay into the skates of Patch Ready. He tips it to the wall. Falk around the board. DeArnay waiting, pressed by the diminutive Zuccarello, the Norwegian who has made his presence felt early in this season after a quick stint down in the minors. Or in fact, he was a scratch and came back red hot. And that's what you want as your coach. When you have players that you feel like you've got to push their buttons a little bit, you sit them out of game, you send them down, you know when you get them back, they care enough to change the habits they had, and he certainly did. No! Puck goes right on goal, and Talbot wisely holds on for a whistle and a faceoff in the Ranger zone. A couple of really good scoring chances for both sides. One is going to see Brian Gianti. He lays this out to Prust. He puts it out in front. This skips all the way back to the point. And a good shot to the net and a save. And Gianta just can't get the bouncing puck settled. And then Kreider has had a pretty good first period. Thrown some good hits. Comes down the wing. He's got blazing speed and a great release. And that just caught the inside post. Egg line reunited tonight with Eller between Galchenyuk and Gallagher. Dorsett rims it around the boards in the Montreal zone. It gets away from Subban. At the blue line, Strawman. Pumps it right back in. Boyle using his size, keeping Markov at bay. Boyle, his pass goes off the skate of Broussard. He's checked by Subban. And Gallagher outlets, but the puck gets right through the stick to Veller. Rangers, who've been really smooth in transition in this first period, are right back in the Montreal zone. Eller can't keep it on the boards, and it's poked free all the way back down the ice. John Moore racing in deep to pick it up. Moore, another part of that great Columbus trade last year that has given so many pieces to this Ranger hockey team when they sent Gabrick the other way. All right, time for an update as we go to Toronto and Andy Petrello.
still scoreless at the Bell Center in Montreal. You mentioned that trade. You know, when you unload a star player like they did, and you can get some good young pieces, and yeah. you look at Gomez trade, they got McDonough. And you know, now with Moore, they're adding to that backside, and they need it. And we had Broussard and Dorsett, some grit, some depth into the lineup. You get Moore. The Rangers still have yet to have their top six forwards in a lineup with the injuries to Callahan and now Nash, who's about to come back, we hear, later next week from his concussion. Well, he's been skating, and there hasn't been any symptoms, so that's a good sign. Yeah, real good sign. He had headaches for a few weeks right after that shot from Brad Stewart. Here's a chance at the side of the net. Miller in front for Moore. He can't get the puck to settle. And a great chance in the slot. Warner Val is checked heavily at center ice, loses control of the puck. And Justin Falk comes the other day. He fires it around the boards. It gets through the stick of Price. Gianta bouncing it along the boards. It's swatted to the near side. Yemelin doesn't get there fast enough. Georges is knocked into the boards by Haglin. McDonough has it go off his skate, thrust to the boards, and Placanitz will get it out. Giannis pass broken up by Callahan, and the Rangers are really closing time and space on the Canadians here. Now Georges to center. Around the boards in deep. It comes back to Diaz. Stick checked there by Haglin, and the Rangers are at center. Richards, a soft shot right on goal, and Price will hold on. Still no score. Habs out shooting the Rangers 5-3 in Montreal. Vigneault was all smiles today, Gary, talking about the prospect of getting one of the NHL's top scorers, Rick Nash, back next week. Well, certainly that hit right here we're going to see by Stewart. It didn't look like much, it really. And you know he caught him there, but I didn't believe the amount of time this guy was going to miss due to that hit. But boy, oh boy, he's, he's missed a lot for the Rangers. He looks good coming back. He skated great. Alan Vigno says, man, he looks like he can play, but he needs a few more practices before you throw him in a game. And it's similar here to Montreal with the Emelin. I mean, they would have loved to have had him in two, three games ago. But you know what? you got to have a little patience. It takes time. you got to wean them back in here. Yemelin practiced for three weeks before they brought him back. Pass goes off the skate of Eller. Zuccarello quickly on the puck first for New York. In front, Kreider's one-timer goes wide of the Montreal net. Markov turned aside by Stepan. Good forecheck pressure from the Rangers here in the first. At center ice, Girardi gathers the pass from McDonough. Sends it right back. McDonough to Stepan. Kreider chipping in the near corner. Zuccarello chasing down Subban. Subban holds him off as the puck poked away. It goes to Gallagher, his long pass over the stick of Eller. Mark Stahl, long pass, bounces off Galchenyuk. Canadians take possession. Rene Bort to Yemelin to the line. Francis Bouillon chipping it in for Pacioretty. He's knocked off the puck by Stahl. Stahl into the boards in the corner with it. Brassard smartly out to Strawman. Strawman enters the Montreal zone. A soft shot on goal. Scooped up by Yemlin. He's caught on the forecheck check immediately. Rene Bort along the board. Stahl is there first. Here's a two-on-one with Dayarnay and Bouillon. Bouillon trying to feed Dayarnay, and it's cut off on the back check by Brian Boyle. Canadians try to turn that puck over in the zone, and the Rangers recover. It's Brassard to center. He drifts another long shot on Price. Price's pass is knocked out of the air. At the line. Falk in! And a strong wrist shot off a stick and into the glass. Pouliot behind the net for Broussard, turning away from Bouillon. Good battle on the boards. Broussard still on the puck. Outlets. Pouliot back to Falk. His wrist shot through traffic goes wide again with Dorset creating havoc in front. Rangers now back off, get a change on the fly. Pouliot holding the puck off the bench. Wrist shot. Kreider, or rather Miller, with a great glove save by Carey Price. You've got to get the pucks quickly. You've got to close down time and space. And Montreal just a bit too slow getting the pucks. Bouillon's not all the way in. He stops two feet short and tries to fisherman it out with his stick. That's not going to be good enough. That puck rotates around. Great transition. Good job by Pouillot to get in there. Loosen the puck up. Gets back there right in the slot. And Miller with an opportunity. Great A quality. But Carey Price answers with the glove. Great glove save. Miller, the former U.S. World Junior star off the bench. And a great opportunity there. 
Subban under pressure. The Rangers have been ferocious on the forecheck. Montreal called for icing with 6.26 to go here in the first. Well, Pouillot's been a bit in the doghouse. Uh, Alan Vigneault, he doesn't like his puck, uh, puck decisions, and that was a pretty good one there. And Carey Price, he's been pretty hot. And uh, it's, you know a year he's going to be extremely focused. It's an opportunity not only to win for the Montreal Canadiens, but also to get himself into the mix for Sochi. And his name is certainly there. And I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, the other night versus Tampa, he was unbelievable in that shootout loss. 44 saves. Season high for him. Falk around the boards. Haglin taken down by Subban. And the other way it's Briere. Rink wide for Markov. Ahead to Moan. It goes over his stick. Falk in the corner. Falk shovels it, turns it over. Moan backhands. Here comes Diaz. Fires. And it hits Moore in front. The captain Callahan bouncing it off the boards back in the Montreal zone. George's pass gets away from Moan. Bornaval to center. Briere waiting. Now he fires it in the zone. It takes a weird bounce. It comes to Moan. Back to Briere. He stick check on the play by Falk at the line. Georges struggling with the puck. Gets it back to the corner. Cross out to Moan. One timer. And out to cut the angle and make the routine save is Cam Talbot. And now it gets ugly after the whistle. Prust is in the mix with his former Ranger teammates. Danny Briere having words with Falk. They'll separate and settle that down and we'll take a break on Hockey Night in Canada. Montreal's fourth line raising the temperature here tonight. Yeah, hard to believe that Daniel Briere's on the fourth yeah. line again. The last time he was there, he ended up being knocked out for 10 games with a concussion. Here he goes to the front of the net. He goes to the right spot. But again, this is the issue with Montreal. Small forwards, trouble getting through to the bigger defenseman to the front of the net to create any kind of screening action against Talbot. And then, of course, uh, in comes Prust and Moan to look after their smaller line mate. Well, right now, it's either Briere or it's Dearnay. I mean, two small centermen. Oh, Placanitz. I mean, he's not yeah. a big centerman either. Subban to the boards. Gianta. His shot off the paddle of Talbot to the corner. Kreider trying to bounce it to Stepan. Checked by Placanitz. He shovels it in deep again. Girardi in some trouble. Manages to poke it free to Stepan. Kreider now charging up the left wing. Chris Kreider drops it. McDonough fires. Rebound swatted away by Subban. Bouncing puck corralled by Placanitz. He's got some room to move up the right wing with it to the captain, Gianta. Chipping it, knocked out of the air by McDonough. The Ranger defenseman have been playing lacrosse tonight. Done a good job keeping those pucks out. Great hand-eye coordination. Here's Placanitz who managed to feather that puck right to the goal mouth. And in comes Prust again, banging as Talbot gets a whistle. Back to Toronto, and here's Andy. Thank you, Andy. No score here in the Bell Center as the Habs try to extend their mastery over the Rangers in this original six matchup. Yemlin in his first game back since last spring manages to get it along the boards. It's going to struggle for him early. Pacioretty shoveling to Dayarnay. Pressed by Strawman. Bork around the boards, kept in by Yemlin. Across for Frankie Bouillon. His shot through traffic and it bounces just by the post. Back in front. Bork looking for it as he centered the puck. Pacioretty banging along the boards with Bork. The two big wingers being much more physical. They're being pushed to do that by Michel Terrain. He was talking about that tonight before the game. Brassard all the way around the boards to Dorset. Blocked by the stick of Dearnay. Goes off a of body. Boyle backhands it back into traffic. Bouillon calmly puts it ahead to Pacioretty. He's got Rene Bork charging up the left side. Chips it in the zone. Bork tracks down McDonough. McDonough manages to find Girardi at the line. Markov can't get it deep. The other way. Pouliot playing on his fifth team in the last four years. Gets a shot off a skate in deep behind the net. Trying to move it along the boards. Markov takes it from him. Galchenya finds the puck. Blocked by Miller. Again, Miller goes to the net. And Gary Price has to hold on for a whistle. Well, the one thing the 
New York Rangers used to do is block shots, and the young one loves to block shots. And the Montreal defenseman have blocked about 240 of them so far this year. Good rotation by Montreal. Yemlin keeps this puck in, and he clears it right over to Bouillon, who snaps it to the net right away. And who's in front again? David DeHarnay going to all the spots you got to go to to get involved in the offense. And good job by Emlin to pick that off the wall in his backhand, rotate it right across to Bouillon, get the puck on the net. Things are happening fast for him. It, it, the game is so fast. You cannot practice fast enough to get used to game speed. You've got to get your games in. Emlin getting a few tips from J.J. Daniel on the bench. Haglund shovels it off the boards. Pinching in deep is Moore. Back to Callahan. Callahan's pass stopped at the side of the net by Georges. Falk got that good wrist shot. Plays it to his partner Moore and he gets it deep again. Callahan shadowed by Diaz. Turning away. Back and forth along the boards. Maintaining possession for New York. It gets away from Haglin. Pinching in deep is Moore to keep it in play. Behind the net. Haglin tries to come out at the side of the goal. Georges bars the door. And Placanich will get it off the glass. The Habs have had trouble getting out of their zone. Facing this Ranger forecheck. Haglin can't get it deep. Georges punches it ahead to Placanich. He's got Giada with him. Lacanitz around the net, back to Subban. Subban fires off a body, and it careens to the near side. Markov bouncing it behind the net. Giada tries to center, stopped by Stahl. Giada again to Briere. Briere's shot is blocked by Callahan. The pass comes back to Markov. Markov to his partner. Subban can't find it in his skates, and he's checked by Haglund. Good block by Callahan. Was it ever. Briere gets it deep. Here comes Bourneval, hard on the forecheck. McDonough flips it high to center. A rolling puck taken by Subban away from Zuccarella to center. Bourneval to the line. Briere has it hop over his stick. Zuccarello back to the line. Stepan across. Here comes Kreider in. Stopped by Terry Price again. Price stymies. Kreider, as we remind you, all the teams skate a live gala performance, and the champions will be crowned on the finale of Battle of the Blades at tomorrow at 8 on CBC. Chris Kreider has come down that left side three times here in the first period and shown what kind of blazing speed he's had. He's had some great looks at the net, and Carey Price has solved them every single time. He was shaking his head after the last one. You're going to have to be better than that, kids. A couple Carey Price is saying. Remember a couple of years ago, he was terrific with Boston College and then joined the Rangers in the playoffs had five goals and announced his uh, unveiling as an NHL player got some polish in the minors at the side of the net Stepan tries to jam it short side stopped by Price Stepan again checked by Dernay gets away Stepan in front one timer Zuccarello wires that one high and wide now Girardi down low Kreider chips it to Zuccarello in front. Stepan flips it. Price is there again to make the save for Montreal. Well, the Rangers have done a really good job getting offensive zone time, and they've tracked down pucks. They've turned pucks over. Good takeaway ratio, and they're getting to the net. They're driving to the net. Right here, you're going to see Stepan just standing out in front, flips this right into the chest of Carey Price. He didn't have a lot of time to unload it, but they're in the right places, and good job by Kreider to dig that puck out. Coached by the great Jerry York at Boston College coached me at Bowling Green I talked to Jerry about Kreider when he was coming into the National Hockey League in the playoffs and he said this kid has got all the tools to be a great player and he certainly has shown that tonight can he move this has become New York's best line step in with Kreider there's another chance off the draw and Dorsett fires it into the padding of Price that's the 14th shot on goal for the Rangers and the offensive zone face off by Boyle I mean, brassard has been taking them in the neutral zone, so they like the position of Boyle on the wing. But right here, it's a good job by Brassard coming off the wing as Boyle just tied up to Eller. Eller's become so much better in the circle this season, stronger. Great night the other night in Columbus. This time, the Rangers get it again, right to Brassard. Poke checked by Eller. Eller takes the puck from Brassard and heads back up ice. Stick handling his way to center. Around Boyle. Still on it as it poke checked by Stahl and it's shoved back to neutral ice. P.K. Subban across to Markov. Long stretch pass. Eller at the line. Was trying to go to the right side to Gallagher. Was tied up again. Now Gallagher gets it in deep. 
It's the final minute here of the first period. Galchenyuk takes the puck from Strawman along the boards. Can't get the pass through Strawman as it bounces off his pads all the way back into the Montreal end. Subban outlets to Markov. Markov rink wide to the right side of the ice and is jumped in by Giotta. Hard on the forecheck is crossed. Girardi to McDonough and out. The Rangers tip it back down the ice. And this will be icing as Diaz is back for the half. You know, I've been on teams where you get in the locker room and you pick up the, the, the game notes and you see you haven't won there in forever. And, uh, you know, some players were there, some weren't. It doesn't really mean that much, I don't think. But for a goaltender who's got that master of another team, they feel good when they play against them. It's like when you're a player and you get played against certain teams and you score more often, you love playing those teams. And Carey right. Price has just had their number, the Rangers, so far. Four straight shutouts, 103 consecutive crazy, saves. Crazy numbers. Add the 14, that's 117 consecutive saves against the Rangers. Every one he makes, he just puts another notch in their brain. More big rebound! And Pouliot was staring down Price and couldn't get the shot away. Zuccarello off the backboards. Intercepted by Placanitz. He gets it out and over Girardi's stick. Here's a race for it. Giada. Cut off by Girardi as McDonough makes the play to center. And it chipped back in the zone. Final seconds ticking off the clock here in the first period of the Bell Center in Montreal. Rangers out shooting the Canadians 15 to 7 and controlling the play. Another slow start for Montreal. Not quite what Michel Therrien was looking for from his team. Stay with us, Don Cherry and Ron McLean still to come in Coach's Corner. After one period of play at the Bell Center in Montreal, no score, Rangers and Canadians. The second period straight ahead here at the Bell Center in Montreal, no score after one. Rangers out shooting the Canadians 15 to 7. 13 different Rangers players with a shot in that first period, Gary. But Chris Kreider was the force. Well, he had two shots on net and two missed shots. The Rangers put 30 total pucks towards the Montreal net, and Kreider was a big part of that. And I think he used his speed and his net drive on three occasions that really had Montreal reeling going backwards. He got himself in good locations on the ice, and he turned over a lot of pucks using his size and speed. So good first period for Kreider. We'll see if he had going going there in the second. Built like a frame trade, and he's got the big speed, and Price the difference in that first period for Montreal as they were on their heels in the first 20 minutes. Mentioned at the start, you know, both he and Budai have been really solid this year for Montreal. And when Montreal has these kind of starts where they're not firing on all cylinders, it's Carey Price who holds the fort or, or Peter Budai. And a pretty good job in the first period, like you said, 15 saves. Price clears it to the perimeter. Pacioretty reaching for the puck. He's knocked down by Broussard. Now Boyle battling with Markov. Once again, the Rangers are frenetic in the Montreal zone. Boyle leaves it, but Markov picks it up and flips it along the boards to a dashing Pacioretty. Pacioretty wide on McDonough. He shot off the stick and wide. Now Subban towards the front of the net. It's blocked by Brian Boyle, and he heads the other way for the Rangers. Boyle ahead on the left wing to Broussard. Broussard holds the puck. Stick checked by Subban. Side of the goal. It squeaks right back to Boyle. Boyle backhand pass off the stick of Dearnay and back down the ice. Those are the ones you got to watch. When you've got no play and you've got nothing going on, the one you throw blindly back through the middle of the ice that can set the other team on their breakout. Luckily, Boyle, it did, went back to the Ranger defenseman. Stepan's attempt to dump it in goes off the stick and out of play. Well, the New York Rangers, and again, they got off to that tough start. They had that long road trip, and you heard Brad Richards talking to Pizza about it, and he was telling him, you know what, it's tough to get on the road for five weeks. Jeez. And you know, try to perform always on the road through all the time changes and the travel, and, and certainly once they got back to MSG, a building that they're very familiar with, and they play very well, and they seem to get things back on track, and it looks to be a much better Ranger team right now. They finally got the renovations done there at MSG. It's been like three years. McCannitz, a long shot off the blocker of Talbot, right back into the corner. Rangers won two of their first eight games, then went seven and three coming here tonight. On the road for the first nine because of those renovations. One of those losses was that 9-2 slaughter in San Jose. Well, and they started, don't forget, in the exhibition games on the road. They just never went home. Yeah. And when they got to San Jose, I just think it just bottomed out on them. It was Hurdle's big night with his four goals, including that between the legs 
roof job that caused the stir across the league. Well, the retirement of Marty Barron. <laughs> Marty Barron. He, he played one more game against St. Louis, and then that was it. He's such a class guy, and yeah. he took it all well. And, you know, he held no ill feelings towards that. And then there was a lot of people that were picking on Hurdle for the goal, but that's just our, the way it is now. Centering pass goes to the boards. Girardi fakes the shot. Goes around Galchenyuk, bouncing it back to the boards. Richards fires it towards the net, and it's deflected just wide. Callahan, his pass intercepted by Eller. Eller run off the puck, though, by Haglin. It bounces to the side of Price, and he'll hold on for a whistle. And now Subban getting his stick up with Callahan. Well, we'll show you just how much travel the New York Rangers had in that beginning of the season and when you look at the preseason in their first nine games 14 cities look at the number of kilometers and of course the record wasn't the prettiest and and their last nine only two cities more at home and more home cooking and familiar scenery and turned it right around and you can understand when you're on the road that long it wears you down no question about that Miller's shot Blocker save that went right through the legs of Briere and Price picked it up at the last second. At the point again, Moore's shot deflected just wide. Pouliot quickly on that. His pass is broken up. Bourneval will get it inside the line. It's sent right back to center by Falk. Yemlin stands up along the boards, takes a shot from Miller, loses the puck. Pouliot pouncing on it. Now Moan battling. It comes to JT Miller. Back pass to Pouliot. He tries to back pass in front. Stick check there by Price as he swats it to the boards. Around it goes. Pinching now is Falk. Takes a shot. Ward of out. On the loose puck to Briere. Danny Briere across the line. Rejuvenated in a Montreal uniform, he says. Gets it deep. Moore tries to get it past, and he does. Haglin picks it up. Quickly to Falk, and then up the right side. Dominic Moore hammers it in the zone. It comes all the way around to the line as Diaz chips it back. Bayarnay is in a step offside. Well, an exercise pitch stretches a dragon thin, and a natural product causes a big stink. That's on an all-new Dragon's Den coming up Wednesday night at 8 on CBC. Well, the Montreal Canadiens are going to be shorthanded here as Rafael Diaz when he went to up this puck to David Deharnay coming off the bench, he gave it a little too much up. <laughs> and it went up and over the glass. And the referee makes the call. Of course, this is inside his zone. And again, he tries to bank it off the glass to Deharnay, but a little too much flight. And that'll cost him two minutes or less in the penalty box. Ranger power play, 16th in the NHL, but starting to come alive. They've got six power play goals in their last eight games. But get this, here in Montreal, 0 for 17 in the last seven games. Oh, the numbers are crazy. Unbelievable. I mean, you know they're just waiting for someone to score on Carey Price so they can just get the monkey off their back. Loose puck there, Moan short-handed. And Talbot had to be sharp at the side of the goal. Zuccarello the other way. Stepan gains the line, rink wide. Zuccarello shot, glove save! Oh, rapier-like reflexes by Carey Price. Callahan off the skate, oh, wraparound chance, Zuccarello just missed. At the point, Richards blast is stopped up high by Gianna. Gianna the other way, short-handed, he turns on the Jets, heads to the net, pass save, rebound from Prest, and he put it over the net. Great short-handed chance for the Canadians in transition. After the block by Gianna on Richards up at the line. Second minute now of this Ranger power play. Hope check by Pacioretty on Richards. In front, it gets away to the boards. Subban breaks his stick on the blast. In the corner, Pacioretty tries to come out with it. He's checked. Now Haglin is taken down by Pacioretty. And another penalty coming to Montreal. It's a tripping call to Pacioretty. Five on five. It was kind of quiet. Not much going on. All of a sudden, we get an over-the-glass penalty to Diaz, and it's out of control. Great chances at both ends, and it's going to lead to a five-on-three for the Rangers. Good job putting this to the net, and what a glove reaction saved by Carey Price, and good job by Pruss to get it out of the way. Canadians with three short-handed goals show you why. Good speed by Gianta, and a great save by Talbot. And here, as you see Hagelin trying to separate from Pacioretty, he gets a stick into his feet, and that's going to lead to a 40-second five-on-three. 
for the New York Rangers, whose power play was looking really good up till they played New Jersey. It was running about 40% in the previous seven games, but a big donut versus Jersey with five opportunities. The Habs have killed off 20 of 23 penalties in the last eight games, and they're in top here. 30 seconds left in the five on three. McDonough up ice, gains the line, steers it around Moan. Markov is there to check him. Moan battling for the puck, it comes back to Markov. He can't get it out. Zuccarello waiting at the half wall. Stepan feathers it back to McDonough. McDonough with eight points in his last eight games. He's come alive defensively with an offensive thrust. In front off the skate of McDonough on the pass from Stepan. Zuccarello to Richards at the line. Down low, Stepan. Back to Richards. A blast and he scores! Just as Diaz steps onto the ice. Great timing by Brad Richards. I mean, you couldn't have timed that any better. Montreal was out of the box, but they were certainly not in the play. This was still really a five on three. Montreal couldn't clear the zone. And good patience. Got Callahan in front and Stepan just waits for Richards to get right into his pinwheel. And he lays it out nice for him so we can tee it up as you see it rotate along the top. Richards, who plays the point on the power play, very adept at it, walks in and not known for his slap shot. Oh. He's mostly got that snap wrister that he lets go, but that one he teed it up and he buried it. one nothing Rangers and their first goal on Carey Price. We just talked about that. I'm sure that's a heavy weight falling off the, the blue shirts. First goal in five games against Price. And the Rangers' leading scorer, Brad Richards, has his seventh goal of the season. A five-on-four power play goal as Diaz was just back on the ice. Eller angled off along the boards by Dorsett. Boyle flips it to center ice. So the Ranger power play continues to heat up. And Richards, who's really turned his game around, was training uh, this summer in Connecticut with the likes of Pacioretty and Jonathan Quick. You know, the short, shortened lockout season didn't do him much favors. He, he wasn't in his top shape last year, and it showed. Here's Eller the other way. Lars Eller to the middle of the ice, to the slot, and his shot is blocked by Moore. It comes back to Diaz. He fires it through traffic. It's cleared right back to Diaz, swiftly across to Georges. Down low to Eller. Eller's pass goes right to Boyle. And a great looking chance there goes awry. Canadians will get a change as Mark Stahl sets up behind the Ranger net. Richards is seventh from Stepan at 5.25 on the power play and it's 1-0. Here's another loose puck. Steered to the boards and out. JT Miller. It's gloved by Diaz. Back to Miller. Sword fighting for the puck. It comes to Bork. He'll get it off the boards. And in behind Moore. Pacioretty pressing along with Dayarnay. Puck gets away from Moore. Right in front of the net to the side. Pacioretty banging at it. It's still loose. They try to find it. It's poked back to the line. Diaz across to his partner. Georges. Pacioretty camped in front. Bounce pass behind the net. And a shot right on by Dayarnay. He took the pass right off the boards and nearly solved the netminder, Talbot. JT Miller steered off the puck behind the Montreal net. Georges gets it off the glass to center. Moore back off the glass and inside the Montreal line. Guys know those lively boards here in Montreal. When you hit that yellow dasher, it's like a pass that's coming right out to you. The perfect bounce right to Dayarnay at the side of the net. A little aim to miss sometimes. They, you know, it looks like they missed the net, but oftentimes they just do not have the shooting length. So they're making that bank pass off those back wall and the forwards get on the opposite side of the net. Price out to play it to the corner. Stepan on it along with Kreider. He swings at it. Can't find it. Back the other way. Bourneval banking it off the boards behind Stahl. Out to play it. Talbot right to the line. Stepan leaves it for Zuccarello. The young Norwegian fires it off the backboards. It comes all the way around to Stepan. He sends it back behind the net the other way. Waiting is Mark Stahl at the circle. Fires it through traffic. A low shot that went right through the crease. And Stepan went to jump off the ice. And that hit him. There's too many Rangers on the ice. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I think Richards didn't come on. He was smart enough to stay on the bench. So there was only four guys on. But I don't think Stepan knew he that. He didn't know it, yeah. Subban played nearly nine minutes in that first period. Gets it rink-wide to Prust. 
Cross dropping it now for Placanis. Placanis, his shot is deflected away by Callahan. He goes down on the ice, Placanis does. Fans wanted a call. Rangers smartly out of their zone. Hagelin, the center. He'll drift it into Montreal in. Richards on the forecheck. Georges is there. It's knocked down by Callahan. Then he goes down in the heap. Hagelin with his speed gets right back on the puck and sends it on goal. Trust up the left side. Placanitz again. He's got Gianna to the net. Trust fires. Big rebound. And it's chopped to the boards by Girardi. Georges around behind the net. Cut off by Girardi. Trust banging away at it. And Hagelin will flip it back to center. Georges stick check there to take it away from Brad Richards. Josh Georges in his own zone. Fans chanting trying to get the Habs going here. Eller gets it in the zone and chases. Talbot off the boards past Gallagher. It's chopped in by Diaz and out of play. Reached the midway mark of this hockey game and a power play Rangers goal the difference. You get the overhead shot of it right here. Watch his stick move right there. You see the stick just move in his hand. I think the puck grazes the shaft, and I think Brad Richards right here is telling the referee, Wes McCauley, you know what? I believe that hit our captain, so you're going to have to change that. And uh, the referee skated right over, and they'll make the change. They'll have a look at it anyway. That's what they'll do. They'll have a look at it upstairs, and they'll make the call on it. Certainly, judging from the celebration, Callahan looked pretty excited on the play. You'd be excited if you hadn't scored in five minutes on the cut, too. Bouillon ahead to Pacioretty. He can't get it through the pinch of Strawman. Dorsett there, puck support. And he comes right back in front. Yevlin bouncing it off the boards. Stahl sends it the other way. Boyle drags and fires off the blocker, off the stick of Price to the boards. Bouillon flipping it. It hits a piece of Brassard. He's got to quickly get on that puck again. Trying the other way, the Canadians do. Yevlin up the right wing to Rene Bork, banking it for Dayarnay, chasing it down in front of Strawman. Strawman with a chick, stick check to take it away. Passes in behind Pouliot. Big man gets to the puck in front, looking for the tip as Dominic Moore just missing. It's fired right back in front by JT Miller. Long pass intercepted by Miller. Moore pouncing on the puck, leaves it for JT Miller. Turning away from the check of Eller to the front of the net, a backhand and another save by Price en route. Moore holding the puck, picked off by Eller, ahead to Briere, and knocked to center by Galchenyuk. Rangers onside, Pouliot shot is high and into the glass. Lars Eller back in his zone, out to P.K. Subban, and Subban will flip it down the ice. A rolling puck gathered in by Girardi, sends it right back to center. It comes on a Kareen off the skate of Markov to Kreider. He gets it in deep again. Stepan tying up Subban. In behind the net. Two Rangers working vigorously behind the Montreal goal. And it comes free to Briere, and he'll flip it again down the ice to relieve the pressure. Near turnover there as Pruss goes down. Pruss getting a lot more ice time with Gallagher not looking right coming back after the flu yesterday. Yeah, you, you know Gallagher's not right. We haven't mentioned his name once, especially around the New York net where he always would be. Kreider back to the point. Moore fumbles the puck, can't get the shot away. Prust has him tied up. Kreider fires it in again around the boards. Subban, a quick shoulder check, keeps it going past Folk and down the ice. And this will be icing against Montreal as they're having more trouble coming out of their end. Dominic Moore was an injured player. He had that strained oblique and was out for a period of time, and he's back in the lineup, and that helps to give another centerman. And good job by Pouliot, who's had a much of his more inspired game tonight. And Moore drove to the net. He got the tip on that thing, and it just missed the far post and just gives Alan Vigneault some options as he's going to call a timeout here. He doesn't like the fact that his team's a bit tuckered out. They got a 1 0 lead. No sense in, in risking it at this point, so they'll give them a breather and give them some instructions before they go out for the draw. You know, we're talking about these crazy numbers in terms of the, the Bell Center curse against the Rangers. Just looking at the stats now, that, that goal, uh, the power play goal against Carey Price, that's the first goal he's given up in 172 minutes and 56 seconds against the Rangers. Crazy. Well, you, you know, all the stats that go down, we were, you know, you, you look through this game and Girardi and McDonough, who played a lot of minutes in the first period, about three minutes ago, they had a shot against them. It was the first shot against them in the entire game. They have just shut down the Montreal Canadiens when they have been on the ice on the blue line together. 
A little face off to the right of Carey Price. 8 11 to go here in the second period. Price has faced 22 shots so far tonight. Scrum draw, Habs get possession. Subban off the glass to center with it. The Breer can't make a play. Subban again at his own line. His pass knocked down by Richards right to Callahan. Callahan dropping it for Haglin. Subban loses his stick. Haglin in front for Callahan. He can't find the net. Haglin again in behind the Montreal goal to the boards. Quick wrist shot by Richards doesn't get through. Richards again fires it high. Stopped by Price. Diaz off the glass. The Habs can't get out. A long shot right on goal. Look out! It's right by the pad. Still loose. And Price finally gets a whistle with Haglin tangling with Subban. This is the thing that I think drives Michel Terry nuts. A simple play for P.K. Subban's up in a turnover and then some scoring chances. We'll take a break. One nothing Rangers. In full anticipation of the Coors Light Stadium Series coming up in the new year. A reminder, tickets go on sale this Thursday, November 21st. For those two big games, Devils at Rangers and Islanders at Rangers at Yankee Stadium in New York. Well, trying to make something out of nothing. He was trying to catch Prust on the far wing, and a three-on-one occurs at the net, and the chances, and this isn't just a chance at the net, but it's an extra 30 seconds of end zone time for the Montreal Canadiens, who were lucky enough that Carey Price could freeze that puck. Pacioretty chipping it, Talbot out to play it. He's been terrific tonight. In front, the pass from Bayernet goes right to Stepan. He outlets to Kreider, trying to get by. Diaz and loses an edge. Rafael Diaz from behind his net. Josh George's headman's right on the tape of Rene Bork. His pass gets away from Bayernet, gathers it up, throws it high across the goal mouth into the near glass. Pacioretty takes a bump, gets it deep. Bayernet fighting for the puck. It gets away from Bouillon. And the Habs have to regroup at center ice. Long stretch pass. Pacioretty drifts it across the front of the net. A rolling puck chopped up the boards by McDonough. Step back. Headman. Dorsett keeps the puck in play as Bouillon tried to clear it. Long pass to center from Galchenyuk. Knocked back in the Montreal zone. Stahl back in his own end. Pressured now by Lars Eller. Here comes Galchenyuk poking it free to Gallagher. Back to the point. Markov a shot and no rebound from Cam Talbot. No traffic. I mean the puck goes back to the point and there's just no red sweaters that are standing in front of Talbot and young rookie is looking at this and you're not going to score any goaltender at this level from this point. And you got a Canadian up at the boards, one coming to the net. The puck's already there a good second or two before him and really a routine save for Talbot. Talbot's made 16 saves so far tonight. His fifth game in the National Hockey League. Dorsett stopped at center ice with Subban. He goes down. Gallagher gets it away from Boyle, but it's sent deep again. Subban chips it up the right wing. Gallagher stopped in his tracks by Mark Stahl. He mucked for the puck. At the red line, it's flipped back to the line, knocked down by Subban. Markov to the right wing, open is Gallagher. He drifts it to the far corner. Galchenyuk lines up Strawman. Strawman doesn't get it out, it's Swat back in. Eller in front, checked by Boyle. Miller with some jump the other way as it poked off his stick. In transition now, here comes Lars Eller. He's got Frost in front, tries to get the puck to him, and intercepted by McDonough, the former number one pick of the Canadians. Moore. Dropping it at the line. Benoit Pouliot kicks it ahead. Lacanitz waits in the far boards. His pass knocked out of the air by Pouliot. And Pouliot banks it off Moore back in the Montreal end. Diaz stretches the pass. Tipped in the zone by Prost. Here comes Lacanitz. Lacanitz turning away from Girardi. Back to the point. Pouliot with a big shot that deflects wide. Gianna picks up the puck. Still with it in the corner. Throws it between the Canadians' defense all the way back down the ice. I'm surprised Talbot didn't play that puck. I thought he was going to step out and play it. It wasn't icing, and he allowed Montreal to actually pretty good opportunity around his net. Here's Gianna, one-on-one, -on -one, gets a shot right on, and Talbot makes the save. 
Haglin. Up the board. Stopped by Bouillon. Right back to Pacioretty. Pacioretty going hard to the net. Fires it just wide on the stick side. Brad Richards the other way in transition now with Callahan. He'll bounce it off the boards. Richards impeded on the way by Yemelin. Dayarnay flips it back behind his net. Frankie Bouillon tries to escape the pressure and does away from Haglin to center. He'll gain the Ranger line, chipping it around the boards. Justin Falk is there ahead to Zuccarello, and Stepan will chip it past Subban. Subban played 29 minutes last night in Columbus, and he's logging big minutes again here tonight. That puck is sent out of play, and we'll step aside. A 1-0 hockey game, a power play goal here by the Rangers is the difference. Alexei Yemelin putting his rebuilt knee to the test for the first time tonight. <laughs> he certainly tested it. He brings a lot of nastiness to the defense corps of the Montreal Canadiens. That one was very deja vu-ish to the Luchich hit, but he's not shied away. He's been in on two or three good collisions. He's given some, he's taken some. You know, he's been a bit slow getting to pucks, but also he's shown some pretty good hands. And for his first game so far, I think pretty good. They're going to work him back in slowly, but boy, they've certainly missed him. He, he's great insulation. He makes the opponents very honest. If you're not paying attention to him, he will walk, rock your world. Wisely being put back into the lineup in that third pairing with Frankie Bouillon. Gloved down by Pacioretty. He can't get it free. Kreider there battling for the puck. Bouncing it to the point. Kept in by Strawman. And he'll backhand it in deep again. Subban off the board, but not out. Stahl with some time. Fires it off the leg of Dernay in behind the net. Zuccarello tries to center. He's checked by Markov. Still on the puck, though. Working his magic along the boards. Bats it to the near side. And it's kept in by Stahl. Habs having trouble getting out of their zone. Dernay trapped along the boards in the check from Zuccarello. He flips it around the other way. Stepan outracing Markov to the puck. Zuccarello, shadowed there, still has the puck away from Dayarnay. Flips it back in deep for Kreider. Kreider leaves it, takes a high stick, it looks like accidentally hitting Subban. Subban tying up the puck and freezes it, and there will be a high sticking penalty coming to Kreider of the Rangers. P.K. Subban is going to draw a penalty, and I thought he was going to get one originally because he takes down Kreider right there with a trip and the referee does not make that call and Kreider's a little upset so he goes back at Subban and when he misses him he swings around and catches him with the stick so as usually the retaliatory guy usually yeah. gets the penalty and he will in this case as the Montreal Canadiens will go on the power play Subban's just had a fairly long shift and I'm sure he's not got the full gas tank right now but Michel Therrien is going to leave him and Markov out there with 2.56 left here in the second period. Big chance, the end of the second. Second power play of the night for Montreal. They're 0 for 1 with one shot on their previous man advantage. Boyle gets the draw and McDonough gets it out down the boards. Hard to believe P.K. Subban is being talked about as being on the bubble for the Olympic team with the way, the dynamic way he plays the game. And you know he'd be such a, an asset on the, the big ice at the Olympics in Sochi. Well, he certainly would be, but you'll remember Mike Green and what happened with him. He was putting up crazy numbers in Washington, and he was ignored as well. It's, it's, it's the a risk, risk factor, eh? Exactly. Risk versus reward. In behind the net, Briere rims it right back to Markov. Across to Subban. P.K. Subban throws it on goal. Rejected by Girardi. McDonough gets it off the glass and out. But when he's on the ice, the shot margin is decidedly in Montreal's favor. Here's Subban with a big shot. Into the glass it goes as he misses the mark. Girardi fires it right on. Well, I have a hard time believing that he won't be on Team Canada. I really do, but it's what you keep hearing. Stretch pass to the line. Pacioretty turning away from pressure and turns the puck over. Haglund back in the lane in front of Placanitz to break it up. But all night for Montreal, their scoring chances have come off of the rush. They've had plenty of chances off the rush, but they haven't had sustained pressure in the New York end where they've gotten multiple chances or have dogged the puck cycling in their zone. Even on the power play, they haven't gotten it. Here's Haglin now with his speed away down the ice, and he'll go for a change as he drifts it in deep. Yeah, the Canadians have not had sustained pressure. They've spent a lot of the night just trying to get out of their own zone. Here's Gianta now. Holding the puck, 
Lacanitz in the corner, back to the line. Bouillon to the half wall. Lacanitz, back door is Diaz. He's open, fires, and a great diving stick check by Dorset. Lacanitz pass goes off the leg of Stefan and is paired by Dorset. In the final minute of this second period, no shots on goal as Kreider comes back on the ice and the Rangers full strength, not allowing a single shot on that power play by Montreal. We'll take a break on this icing call with 44 seconds to go. He spins off and gets caught between his legs. Referee thought maybe just accidental contact there and did not make the call. The big face off here, 5.6 seconds left. Still plenty of time for a shot on that if you can win this draw. Gallagher to the left side with Galchenyuk. Subban is in 10 feet from the line. Heller needs to win the draw. He does. Tied up though. Zuccarella was there. Swinging at it was Gallagher. Couldn't get the shot. And Girardi wastes the final seconds as the siren sounds to end this second period. The shot's 10-9 in favor of Montreal in this second period. But one goal, a power play goal, now changed and given to the captain Ryan Callahan, his sixth of the season, from Brad Richards and Derek Stepan at 5.25 of this second period. And it's a 1-0 Rangers lead after 40 minutes in this original sixth matchup, the Battle of the Bell Center in Montreal. So far tonight, a 1-0 Ranger lead as we head to the third period. It's the first New York Rangers power play goal at the Bell Center in nearly five years, going back to December of 2008, when Marcus Naslin was the last Ranger to score a power play goal in this building. Will, will the Rangers end the Bell Center curse tonight? They have the lead. Well, if they play anywhere like they played in the second period, I like their chances. It's a good, solid second period. Let's go down to ice level, and here's Rob Pizzo. Thanks a lot, Mark. I spoke to Montreal assistant coach Gerard Galant. He said he's really happy with the team's energy tonight, especially since it's the second of a back-to-back -back, uh, series. He loves their scoring chances. One thing, though, he says Cam Talbot is playing really well, and the only way they're going to get back into this game is if they get some traffic in front of them. Guys? Well, we saw that in the second period, and they've got to get some energy in this building. They've got to get something going here to feed off of. It's not easy playing on the road and then coming into your home building when the visiting team is waiting for you here in your own city. And that's going to happen the next three weekends to the Montreal Canadiens. And the Rangers head home and play Tonight, the Kings yeah. tomorrow at Madison Square Garden. But the Rangers have been full value for their uh, work ethic and their jump here tonight. Gianna chips it down the ice and this will be an icing call against the Canadians. Again, I don't think Montreal's played a bad game. I think New York has pushed the game a little yeah. more. I think they've had more end zone time. Montreal's offensive attack has been very sporadic. It's come off some great line rushes. Giantas had two or three down the wing. Pacioretty's cut to the net a few times. Crust had that one timer in the high slot, but as Gerard Gallant said, Talbot's been up to the task. Diaz hammers it off the skate of Strawman. Stahl is there, but can't get it past Gianta. Stahl pressed along the boards. Crust is there to break it up. It pops back on the stick with Strawman, and now he'll get it ahead to Callahan. Callahan in the line, across, wrist shot, just missing was Haglund as he went glove high. Placanitz the other way. Gianta back to Placanitz, turns, fires, and it goes right through the goal mouth. And Prust goes down, bumping the netminder, and there's a penalty coming to the Canadians, a delayed call. Talbot goes to the bench for the extra attacker as Price touches the puck. And the Rangers are going on the power play here early in the third. They will allow you to drive to the net, and they will allow you to, to get in there for the puck. The puck comes through, no doubt about it, but you can't stick your butt out like that and catch the goaltender. I mean, that's what the referee saw. His arm went up immediately. you got to make every opportunity to avoid the goaltender, not try to bump into him. And I think the referee had nothing wrong with the net drive. It was the sticking out of the buttocks that caught the goaltender that he made the call on. So goaltender interference, the call to Prust. 
third power play of the night for the Rangers. They're one for one. That was the tip in, the deflection by Callahan on the blast from the point by Brad Richards early in the second period. And, you know, Canadians try to bump him a little bit, get him off his game. You heard Gerard Gallant saying he's been the difference tonight, so maybe that's what Press was trying to do. Trying to get in his kitchen, and he took a penalty instead. Kreider has it get by him to Pacioretty. Throws the puck up ice, waiting for it was Moore. Broussard banking it back to Moore, turning away as Eller heads to the bench for a change. Broussard stick handling his way in. A saucer pass to Stahl. He winds and fires. It goes off a leg wide. Stahl had a nice goal against the Rangers the other night on a setup from Zuccarello, who plays it right back to Stahl. Stahl to Zuccarello. Rink wide the back door. Moore settles the puck but can't get it on that. Zuccarello to the blue line again. Stahl back to Zuccarello. He attacks the net. Fires. Hits the stick of Markov. Kreider dropping it for Zuccarello. He keeps it going. Broussard back for Zuccarello. In front. Chance at the back door to the high slot. Stahl shoots. It's blocked by Moan. But Kanitz is there. Can't get it out. Kept in by Moore. Here comes Broussard. Fires. Shoulder saved by Price as Markov takes Kreider down in the corner. Kreider bangs the puck ahead, but right to Placanitz. He steams up the ice on the right wing. Thomas Placanitz away along the boards from Moore and kills more time as he plays it back to his own line. Diaz hammers it down the ice with 15 seconds left in the penalty to Prost. Canadians ranked fifth in penalty killing, and you got a good look at why. Good stick position. Good blocking of shots and their goaltender there to make the saves when you need them. And pressure at every turn. Great pressure. Richards leaves it for Zuccarello. It's intercepted the pass. Broken up by Gianna. And he's up the other way. Turning it center ice. As the Canadians kill it off. And get back to full strength. Girardi hammers it around the boards. Subban waiting. He sends it to center looking for Rene Bork. Bork couldn't touch it, and so this will be icing against Montreal. Well, we'll have a look at some of the solid penalty killing by the Montreal Canadiens, and it's always the guys that just stay within the system. Penalty killing is just hard work and determination. Look at Moan. He's got to go down and get that block. And then Carey Price going to come on the top of the paint. Down goes Yemelin. Carey Price enables him to keep his body upright where he could stay above the sliding Emelin, play everything above him, and he does that and makes the save, and Canadians kill it off. Price has made 24 saves so far tonight. Boyle gets the draw to Brassard. He couldn't make a play with it as Crust was there to break it up. Now Bork, the power forward up the left side. Going around Strawman, can't get the shot cleanly through. Subban is there to pinch along the boards, bending off Brassard. He'll go back in deep to Falk. Falk. Punches it ahead to Strawman. He'll get it off the glass behind Bouillot. Jumping on it is Boyle. He's got Broussard with him on the left side. Boyle in front. Oh, and Broussard just misses on the side and takes down Price in the process. Well, I think Price was already down, maybe, but Broussard was brought into the net. He tries to stop, unlike, unlike at the other end where he's stuck his backside out to catch the goaltender. We'll see this on the breakout. Bouillon gets caught up against the wall. Terrible source side pinch on a 1-0 game and boils off to the races and Broussard comes to the net. He does make contact with the puck. So as the puck comes across here, Broussard is going to get it with the toe of his stick coming in. So it's a legal play to come to the net. Price is already down, you'll see on his knees. Broussard just bumps and falls on top of him. I don't think he was trying to run him and the wave referee waved it off right away and clear him out of there. So no call on Broussard as Eller bangs away with Haglin. It comes free. Gallagher trying to come back from the flu is run rough shot by McDonough into the boards. McDonough plays it across to Girardi. His pass straight up for Callahan. Callahan with Haglin going in front. Kept at bay by Georges. Eller keeps it going but not out. Here's McDonough. His high shot goes into the glass. Girardi sends it right back around the boards behind the Montreal goal. Richards has it go off a stick. It comes right to Galchenyuk. The egg line's been quiet tonight. They had eight points earlier in the week. They had a 4-2 win over the Islanders. 
but held at bay here tonight as all the Habs have. Markov enters the New York zone. His shot goes off the stick of Girardi. Crust is banging, gets the puck first, leaves it for Bourneval. A nice play to pick it up, dropping it back to the point. Markov shot, knocks down JT Miller. He's hurt. And the officials will blow the play down. And Miller is in some difficulty. The ones you know you're going to block, you know they're coming. You can prepare for it, right? The one that you don't know you're going to block sometimes can really hurt. Good play by Bourneval as he tees it up. And as Miller comes across, watch his foot open up right there. He opens the, the, the skate out, and that there's no padding there at all. And I don't think he's wearing those plastic protectors. So that pain would have shot right up to your teeth when that hit your foot. He knows, too, when Rick Nash comes back, he may be the guy going down to the minors. There's a blast from Markov, so JT Miller trying to make another impression on the new coach, Alain Vignon. Bourneval's shot doesn't get through. Moore outlets to Pouliot. Saucer pass to Boyle. Boyle throws it back for Pouliot, just out of his reach. The other way, Bourneval banking it off the boards, and Moore is back on the back check to break that up. Hustling in is Bourneval. Markov ahead to Prost. Prost loses possession of the puck. Dorset the other way to Pouliot. He drifts a long slap shot caught by Price. And the Canadians in transition setting it up the other way. Zuban away from Kreider. Markov long pass away from Rene Bork. A race for it. And with the hybrid icing, it's called icing and the fans object. This is the tough part of hybrid icing, and it's tough on the linesman, and the player sometimes gets frustrated. It's when the puck is rimmed. When it's a straight down icing, it, it's easy to make the call, right? Everyone sees it. But right there, you'll see the New York Ranger defenseman is well past the hash marks as that puck is coming yep. around behind the net. It's the right call. Yep. It's the call on the hybrid icing. I know that Bork feels like he's got the right angle on the puck, but the Ranger defenseman was there at the hash marks easily first. And it's the dot, actually, but yeah. he was at the hash marks. Decision is made at the dots. Even though, you know, Pacioretty was closer to the puck when it came around the boards. Kreider keeps it going. Subban outlet through his legs to Dayarnay. Ahead to Frankie Bouillon. Drifts it in the zone. Dayarnay picks it up, throws it behind the net. It gets away from Rene Bort. And Falk drives him hard into the boards. Pacioretty there to support. He throws it the other way. Lexi Yemelin doesn't get it in. It goes off the skate of Kreider. Then Yemelin recovers with a stick trick. Zuccarello chips it in the Montreal zone. Yemelin leaves it for Dayarnay. Rangers getting a change as Montreal comes back up the ice. Travis Moan in behind Girardi. And he wasn't deep enough across center ice, so they're going to bring this back on the icing call. Well, Rick visits the Toronto Zoo to meet the new resident pandas and joins the Paralympic sailing team in Halifax. That's coming up Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on CBC Television. Gorgeous night here in Montreal. It's like 13 degrees and sunny today. Michel Therrien on the Montreal bench. Callahan tries to center. Intercepted by Bouillon to Pacioretty. Max Pacioretty going wide on Girardi. Girardi and McDonough have been a shutdown pairing tonight for the Rangers. Callahan can't get around Georges. Diaz behind his net. Ahead to Moan. Banking it off the boards for Daniel Briere. Briere with Bourneval at center. And a long shot routinely handled by Cam Talbot. The Canadians frustrated time and time again in a 1 0 hockey game. Well, a look at here at Cam Talbot. The rookie has been sensational in the four games he's played this year, and he's been really good in this one as well. At the University of Alabama Huntsville, only the second player to make it to the National Hockey League, and he has shown extremely well. Really quiet in the net, a lot, a lot of movement, doesn't bleed, a lot of rebounds, technically sound. And his defense core, I have to admit, has played very solid in front of him tonight. I know that we talked about Girardi and McDonough, but that whole core has been good. 
This is a goalie that came out of that hockey hotbed of the University of Alabama at Huntsville. <laughs> he won two games in his first year and was instrumental in helping the club make the playoffs in his second year. We'll get right to the semifinals. You, you know, you look at goaltenders that go to teams, great teams, and they don't see a lot of shots. And you know, they were good goaltenders for sure. And you look at these goalies that go to teams that don't win a lot of games, face 30, 40, 50 shots a game, and these guys improve so quickly. And uh, you know, a decent size. He's not overly tall or big, but man, oh man, he moves well. Great numbers, a 1.97 goals against average and a 9.33 save percentage coming in here tonight. Lundqvist getting the night off away from the jinx. Galchenyuk over skating the puck. And Mark Stahl organizing in his own zone across to Strawman ahead to center, tipped in the zone by Stepan, but not deep enough. Back comes the egg line. Gallagher on the right wing. Ahead to Galchenyuk looking for Eller. And it's broken up on the back check. Strawman had him tied up. Stahl along the boards. Stepan will backhand it down the ice. Bouillon is there. And the icing call coming against the Rangers. Update now from Toronto. And once again, here's Andy Petrella. Leafs pushing back after going down to defeat in Buffalo last night. And the Canadians down 1 0 here tonight in the third. Kreider on the puck, nearly got by Yemlin. Good stick check there. Yemlin takes the puck away from the American forward. Rene Bork hits the official with his pass. They finally get it to Bouillon. Francis Bouillon, long stretch pass. And Pacioretty doesn't get it again. And another icing call coming back into the Montreal zone. Well, it was 13 years almost to the day that Alain Vignon was fired by the Canadians November 18th, 2000, and replaced by Michel Therrien. And the two coaches back here today. Therrien, of course, was fired by the Habs and made his way to Pittsburgh, coming back here for a second chance. And Vignon. Went on to build some terrific teams in Vancouver. Got to the cup final in 2010, losing a game seven. And now he's back in the East with the Rangers after being fired by the Canucks. And John Tortorella trading places. Here's Bork at the side of the goal, trying to come out from behind the net with it. It goes to Pacioretty to the point. Markov shot, tipped in front, still loose. Canadians with possession as Yemelin pouncing on it at the right point. He gets it off the glass in deep to the corner. Falk is hard on Bork, knocks him off the puck. Pouillot can't get it past Yemlin at the line. Yemlin holding onto it, turning away from Benoit Pouillot. Again, he turns. He finds Markov, high slot, and Bork fans on the chance. Dominic Moore trying to find an outlet. It goes off a stick to the side of the goal. And John Moore will bounce it down the ice. Charging is JT Miller. Markov has him tied up. Miller makes a nice move, though, to go behind the net. Throwing it back in front. It goes off a skate to center. Price leaves it for Andre Markov. Midway through this third period. Long pass. Looking at the line for Gianta is broken up by Girardi. And an offside call. Faceoff coming back the other way as we take a break here in Montreal in a 1-0 Ranger lead. Back to the Bell Center where the Rangers still have a 1-0 lead in the third period. Brendan Gallagher, he's in full swing when it comes to the Movember cause. And you know what? He went on Twitter and said he was going to donate $250 for every win that the Montreal Canadiens got this month. Well, Brandon Press responded saying, that's cheap. So the team ended up putting up an entire page where they can make donations. They even have T-shirts that say Galley's Dusters. So the Montreal Canadiens doing their part for the Movember cause. Guys? Galley's what. Dusters. Do, what, do I get any cut of that? What's going on? <laughs> got a mustache going, too. I got a chip in there. Yeah, you got a mustache. Gallagher, he just <laughs> needs a rough towel to take that off. There's a long shot, and it's gloved by Price, and Subban pushing with Callahan after the whistle. Well, Montreal's only one shot away here. They're one shot away from getting themselves back in this hockey game, but 
Carey Price has to continue to shut the door. Face-off's a bit of a challenge for Montreal, and this one comes through traffic, and Callahan, who hangs out in front of that net, tries for the tip to get the puck to drop on Carey Price, but no go. Off the draw, Canadians get possession. Markov ahead to Gianta to Prust. Prust throws it on goal. Blocker save to the corner it comes from Talbot. Prust chops it behind the net. Gianta tries to center. Callahan prevents that. And Haglund is bottled up in the corner. Haglund outlets to McDonough. And he'll get it off the boards and down the ice. It's in behind Subban. Here comes Haglund with a burst of speed and diving his price to make the save. Subban was caught, didn't see Haglund in his rearview mirror, and he just blew right by him. Haglund behind the net. Bouncing it back to the line. Strawman sends it right back to Haglund. Haglund looking for a centering play. Off the skate of Markov and a shot from the side. Stopped by Price. And Broussard is getting pushed around by Markov. Well, the Rangers have got some speed on the wings, and they use it. Hagelin is flying here, a dump off the glass. Subad tries to get the bouncing puck, and even though Markov's on a 45, he would have been better off heading towards his inside post because he was not going to catch Hagelin. But what he did was he contained him in an area where he wasn't going to cut across. It allowed Carey Price to get down for the poke check with the body and not give him a chance to get it over the top of him. Good play by Markov to get back, and even a smarter play by Carey Price to time it going down and making the save. Haglin is so dangerous. Eight points in eight games since he returned from injury. Missed the first ten. But just electrifying speed that puts the fear of God in every defenseman in this league. Well, that's why they teach you to head to your posts. Sometimes you go on that angle and you're just not going to make it anyway. So you're better to head to that post and make sure he just can't cut across. Yemelin's shot is deflected high and out of play. I headed to the post quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Take the shortest distance. <laughs> That's right. That's right, man. I'm proud to say so. We're talking about uh, Brendan Gallagher's uh, cookie duster. He's had only eight and a half minutes of ice time and only two shifts so far in the third period. Uh, coming back from the flu. And, you know, the Habs really miss his robust play in front of the net. How many times did you have said his name and said, oh, there's number 11 again. And you watch him going off the ice, his body language, everything. He's not feeling well. And good on him to give it a try. And he's doing his best. But I don't think he can get up the mustard. Ryan White is sitting tonight with Gallagher coming back into the lineup. Strawman trying to protect the puck. Pacioretty and Bork in there trying to dig it free. Now Miller with some support. Pacioretty got it in his skates, holding them off. Stahl throws it back into the scrum. Now it squeaks along the boards. Back to Bouillon. One time blast. Yemelin just whistles it wide. Bouillon to Dayarnay in the corner. Dayarnay's pass gloved, centered by Bork. Comes back to Bouillon at the left point. Miller has it go off his stick. Into the skates it goes to Strawman. Strawman to Pouliot. And it's hauled out by Miller. Miller up ice. He's got Dominic Moore with him. Stopping, fires it just wide as Moore was all tied up in front of the Montreal net. Bouillon, stationary, throws it back behind his goal, and Yemelin will wait until the Canadians get some fresh forwards out there. It's Eller with Galchenyuk and Gallagher back on the ice. Lars Eller dumping and chasing. Girardi fires it around. It hits Zuccarella, goes back into the corner. Galchenyuk feeds it behind the net. Stepan there is to pick it up. He'll flip it to the line, gloved by Zuccarello. He can't make a play, now he's back on it. Saucering it to Stepan. Derek Stepan, rink wide, bounce pass off the boards. Kreider throws it back between his legs. Subban is there first for Montreal. Subban, flustered with the puck, can't get it out, and it's sent back in by Stepan. Subban tying up Kreider in the corner. Stepan bouncing it behind the net. Kreider in front. Zuccarello gets a shot right on. And a pad save by Price. At the line, Girardi sends it around the boards again. Stepan leaves it for Zuccarello. He dances away along the boards from Eller. Eller gets a stick on it, chops it free to Galchenyuk, and Eller will get it to center. Lars Eller banking it off the boards, charging in his Gallagher for Montreal. Brendan Gallagher tied up by McDonough. And there are four Rangers all around the puck. Matt Zuccarello 
passes it back behind the net to Girardi. He gets it off the glass. It's kept in at the line and finally chopped down the ice. Time running out on Montreal. Six minutes to go here in the third period. Thomas Placanitz the center. Up the right wing. Chipping and chasing is Gianta. Stahl gets his stick on it to break it up. Prust is trying to find the handle but can't. Callahan to Richards and it's deep again. Icing waved off as Richards just got to the red line. It bounces by Callahan. Strawman keeps it in play in the zone. Richards leave, takes the pass. It's to Callahan. He bounces it off behind the net. It comes all the way around to Prust. Prust to the left wing. Gianna throws it right back to the high slot. Prust leaves it for Blankanitz, but Hagelin is back to break it up. Brad Richards, the other way for New York. He'll get it off the glass and relieve some pressure. Rangers in a change now as Yemen looks the other way. He finds Travis Moan, moves away from Dorset. Chips it behind the net. Briere is there in front for Moan. Loose puck is behind Moan. And Broussard jumps on it, but he brings it right in front. Briere takes a whack at it. Here comes Bordeval, a crowd in front. And the half still can't get it past Talbot. Now Falk drops Briere. Here's a big chance. Yemlin in. Oh, a big save by Talbot. Bouillon throwing his weight around, takes a run at Dorset as the Rangers get it down the ice. But Yemlin walking right into the high slot. At center, Bork chops it to an open side. Bouillon will get it deep and head for a breather. Canadians pressing here in the late stages of this third period. It's kept in by Markov. His shot goes off a stick and out of play. Canadians pushing back. 4-11 to go. one nothing Rangers. one nothing Rangers. Can't tell but holding them in. Chaos in the offensive zone as the Montreal Canadiens for the first time get some extended play. Watch the sticks breaking. Boyle breaks the stick, loses the stick. He's going to pick the stick up, try to get it back to his teammate, give it in his hand. Still more chances at the Canadian net. Montreal with possession again. Gary is Pacioretty. Gets it back to the line. Subban, a move around Zuccarella. He's on the backhand, no shot. Back to Markov with a blast. Talbot looks behind him. The puck is covered and a whistle as Talbot looked into the net. Couldn't find the shot. Montreal has turned up the heat here late in the third period. They're pulling out all the stops. Nice move at the blue line by Subban. He's going to turn and just lay this right out for the shot to the net to Markov. And again, numbers in front, but nobody directly in front of Talbot. And watch him track this puck. This is a great save by him, and absolutely no rebound. Off the draw. Subban pinching, keeps it deep. Then it's shot to the line, kept in by Markov. Dayarnay turns and whiffs at the puck and high sticks Dorset in the process. Montreal back in the zone. Pacioretty rimming it all the way around for Rene Bourne. Dayarnay chops it to the line, into the corner behind the goal line. Bork is there, Boyle holding him off. Dayarnay back on it, it's chipped to the wing. Pinching again is Markov to keep it in deep. And now Dorset will flip it, bouncing it inside the Montreal line. P.K. Subban in behind the net. Banks it to Markov. Coming up to the three minute mark, left to play here in the third period. Lars Eller chips it. Into the zone. Here comes Gallagher. Stahl gets there first. Haglin outlets to center. Richards is wide open. Richards has Callahan. Leaves it for Strawman. Strawman to Richards. Oh, what a save! A howitzer from Richards. And Price snags it out of the air. We're under three minutes, and the Canadians are pressing. They're pinching their D, and you're going to give up something. A three on two. Nice little give and go with Strawman to Richards. And he lets this go. This is an unbelievable save by Carey Price. He flashes the glove. Thank you very much. His team has two minutes and 55 seconds to solve Talbot. Once you start pinching those D, man, you're going to give it up. But they've had a, done a good job of keeping pucks in the Ranger end here. Mechanics gets the draw, but Gianta can't make a play with it. A reminder, the nightcap of our Hockey Night in Canada doubleheader still to come. It's the Battle of Alberta. Devin Dubnik facing Rito Berra, Edmonton and Calgary still to come on Hockey Night.
Callahan ahead to Brad Richards. He drifts it right on goal. Rangers head for a change. Giada at center. Zuccarello got a piece of that. He gloves it and plays it back softly inside the Montreal line. Markov to Diaz. Banking it to Giada. Talbot is out to play it. Stepan to center. Subban across for Markov. Andre Markov high into the glass. There's Gallagher looking to feed Galchenyuk. Stepan breaks it up with some hustle. And the Rangers get it back into the neutral zone. Markov's pass to Eller. They're on side. Loose puck. Oh, and Galchenyuk just over skates it. And the Rangers clear it back. Here comes Zuccarello storming up the ice. Dropping it now for Kreider. Oh, and another save off the stick of Price. Habs in transition. Coming the other way. Galchenyuk across the line. Stick check at the line. Eller sends it in deep. Galchenyuk is there, over skates it. Strawman to his partner, Stahl. Kreider can't get it past Bouillon. It's gloved by Gallagher. He'll keep it in the zone. Eller finds it along the boards. It's left by Galchenyuk as he's checked on the play by Mark Stahl. And the Rangers get it back to center. The sense of desperation now for the Canadians. Down 1-0. A power play goal by Ryan Callahan is the only difference here tonight as we reach the final minute. Subban cannot get it deep and Price has to stay in his net. Derek Dorsett rims it around the boards. Boyle waiting. He's checked by Bouillon. But precious time ticking off the clock as the Habs try to get out of their zone. Long pass up the left wing. Rene Borg stood up by Girardi. McDonough knocked hard on the boards. The net is empty. The Canadians with six attackers on the ice trying to find that tying goal. And the puck gets by Yemelin at center. Alexa Yemelin off the boards, waiting for it. McDonough, he sends it right back to center. Richards is checked by Markov, but Yemelin with superior youth and speed gets there ahead of him. Yemelin ahead into the skates of Placanitz. Stick check there by Callahan. Long pass gets away the chase for it here and this will be an icing call with five and a half seconds to go in regulation. Awful tough for Montreal to get from their own end as Carey Price makes his way back into the net and a good job by the Rangers not sitting back allowing Montreal to get up into the neutral zone and get a dump in. They played very aggressive in the Montreal zone. They continued with the four check and it stymied Montreal from even getting into their end and causing any kinds of trouble for them at all. The Rangers, good solid game defensively tonight. Great hustle at every turn. There's a quick snapshot by Boyle off the draw. And that's the hockey game. The curse at the Bell Center is over. Cam Talbot with his first NHL shutout. And the Rangers with their first win in this building in nine consecutive games. Well, a good job by the New York Rangers, monkey off their back, and certainly a good feeling here heading home against L.A. tomorrow. And for Carey Price, you've made 78 out of 81 saves in your last two starts, and you haven't had a win. That's got to be frustrating. He was Montreal's best player tonight. Cam Talbot, undrafted out of the University of Alabama, has the shutout, his first of the NHL here tonight. Now to Jim Houston and Craig Simpson at the Air Canada Centre in Toronto.